Why do we proclaim Jesus Christ today? In the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 16, he says, He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the Gospel to every creature. It was a command given by the resurrected Christ to his disciples. Christ is the incarnated Word, and by the sacrament of baptism, we all are disciples of Jesus Christ. We have a new birth in baptism, and we have got a new name. That is, we are Christians. Who is a Christian? And what is the real mission of a Christian today? Each Christian is the one who follows Christ. Moreover, one who lives the words and deeds of Christ today. That is how Christ lives through each Christian in the world today. Proclaiming Christ is not a mere speech or a vocal experience, but it must be a, a real testimony of living Christianity. We have many examples in our own 21st century. We all have heard about the Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She is not famous for her fantastic speeches, but she is known to the whole world for her kindness and mercy towards the poor people of the street. She said, I see Jesus in every human being. I say to myself, this is hungry Jesus, I must feed him. This is sick Jesus, this one has leprosy. I must wash him and tend to him. I serve because I love Christ. We have a Pope from the end of the world. He is never tired of embracing a sick man. He is never tired of proclaiming the merciful love of God. A pastor who loves to have the smell of his sheep. The whole world loves to hear the words of Pope Francis. Why? I think it is not because of his oratory skills but just because of his simplicity, just because he speaks to the hearts of the people. So my dear friends, to proclaim Jesus Christ is to be a living testimony of what Jesus has asked us. And let us stop talking about Jesus Christ and let us start living what Jesus Christ has asked us. The new commandment of Christ Love one another. As I have loved you, you should also love one another. This is why we proclaim Jesus Christ today. Thank you.